Hey you mob, welcome back to Deadly Kindies. I'm Kim, I'm part of the Deadly Kindies team and today we have our friend with us. I'm Tamika Upton and I'm a Deadly Choices ambassador. Today we'll be reading one of our books, Somebody's Land, but before we get into that we like to do an acknowledgement of country. Let's get started. Here is the land, here is the sky, here are my friends and here am I. We would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we play, discover and learn. Today we are on Yagara and Turrbal land. All right. Somebody's land. Put this over. Somebody's land. A nice little picture to start. For thousands and thousands of years, Aboriginal people lived in the land we now call Australia. Look how happy they were. The land was where people built their homes, played in the sun and sat together to tell stories. When the white people came, they called the land Terra Nullius. They said it was nobody's land, but it was somebody's land. For thousands and thousands of years, Aboriginal people lived in the land we now call Australia. The land is where people cared for the rivers and seas, collected shells to share, and caught fish and mud crabs to eat. When the white people came, they called the land Terra Nullius. They said it was nobody's land, but it was somebody's land. I wonder if there's some mob out there that still go out and catch their fish and their mud crabs for dinner. I know my family do. Yeah. For thousands and thousands of years, Aboriginal people lived in the land we now call Australia. The land is where people cared for the rivers and seas, collected shells to share, and caught fish and mud crabs to eat. When the white people came, they called the land Terra Nullius. They said it was nobody's land, but it was somebody's land. My mob still go out and catch fish and mud crabs too. Hmm. For thousands and thousands of years, Aboriginal people lived in the land we now call Australia. The land is where people designed their tools, sharpened their spears and threw boomerangs into the air. When the white people came, they called the land Terra Nullius. They said it was nobody's land, but it was somebody's land. For thousands and thousands of years, Aboriginal people lived in the land we now call Australia. The land is where people spied tracks on the ground, hunted food to eat, and only took from country what they needed. When the white people came, they called the land Terra Nullius. They said it was nobody's land, but it was somebody's land. This is something you can do when you're doing artwork or if you're outside and you have a stick or a bit of rock, you can do the same, creating tracks on the ground. For thousands and thousands of years, Aboriginal people lived in the land we now call Australia. The land is where people gathered seeds and berries for bush tucker, made medicine from plants and shared secret knowledge with family at sacred sites. When the white people came, they called the land Terra Nullius. They said it was nobody's land, but it was somebody's land. For thousands and thousands of years, Aboriginal people lived in the land we now call Australia. The land is where people painted their faces, carved teaching into rocks, and danced to awaken their ancestors. When the white people came, they called the land Terra Nullius. They said it was nobody's land, but it was somebody's land. What beautiful moments to share with mob. For thousands and thousands of years, Aboriginal people lived in the land we now call Australia. The land is where people lit fires to keep warm, saw their dreaming in the moon and stars, and made music into the night. When the white people came, they called the land Terra Nullius. They said it was nobody's land, but it was somebody's land. It was Aboriginal land. It is Aboriginal land. 
and always will be Aboriginal land. The end. Thank you for coming and reading that story with us, Somebody's Land by Adam Goods and Ellie Lane. Thanks for joining us for our Deadly Kindies today. We'll see you next time. Bye.